if I said the name Flying Dutchman, many of you would know that ship from the Pirates of the Caribbean films. But many of you don't know the real tale of this ghost ship that sails around being spotted from Asia to Africa with a cursed captain who made a deal with the devil and a crew of skeletons. Today on History of Pirates, we tell the old tale of the Flying Dutchman. Our story begins with Captain Hendrik Vanderdecken, who was working for the Dutch East Indian Company during the early 17th century. He was believed to be one of two men who captained the Flying Dutchman. Now, during one of his voyages to Amsterdam, Captain Vanderdecken thought of establishing a settlement near the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa, a place where they could rest when there was rough waters. As the Flying Dutchman started to round the Cape, a terrible storm hit, putting the ship in terrible danger. The sailors argued with the captain to turn around, but he vowed he would bring the vessel in, even if it meant to sail until Judgment Day. Now the devil himself overheard the captain say those words, and he condemned the Flying Dutchman to sail the oceans for all eternity with a ghostly crew of dead men. The captain, wanting a way out of this curse, convinced the devil to play him in a game of dice, which the captain won. So the devil gave him a way out to redeem himself through the love of a faithful woman. So every seven years, the captain was allowed to come to land for 10 days to search for his one true love and find salvation through her. And to this very day, the captain has not found his true love. Now, this is where the ghost story takes a wild turn. There has been official sightings of the Flying Dutchman, starting with future King George V, describing seeing a ship glowing with a strange red light off the coast of Australia in 1881. In March 1939, about a dozen people claimed to have seen the vessel off the coast of South Africa. And during World War II, a German admiral said that members of the crew of one of his U-boats had seen the Dutchman while patrolling off Cape Town. And one of the reports were from multiple people saying that they saw a ship with eerie red lights with a crew of skeletons. The story of the Flying Dutchman has been captured in paintings, television series, and movies such as Pandora and the Flying Dutchman in 1951, At World's End and Dead Man's Chests in 2006 from Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean. It was also featured in an opera composed by Richard Wagner. The telling of this story from generation to generation has changed throughout the years, so you might have heard a different telling than the one that I told in this video. But do us a favor, next time you're out to sea, keep a sharp eye, cause you too might witness the Flying Dutchman. Thanks for watching, and if you could do us a favor, please like and comment. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? We'd love to have you. And if you didn't know, History of Pirates is now available on Spotify or Apple Podcast. Until next time, this is History of Pirates.